Money clothes? Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> Yuppie sure. core. Whatever Yuppie that core. is. So we look, we're looking at high somebody Instagram posts because in case you, <laughs> you dumb dumbs couldn't put two and two together, all 12 of you, um, the show is us talking about posts on Instagram. Yeah. And um, so it, it, it's a picture of ASAP Rocky in what looks like a Navy trench coat. Uh, and that is ASAP Rocky, right? I'm not yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. No, you got it. Um, and a tie and uh, sunglasses. He looks... Kind of yuppie. Sure. Um, there's a picture of a kind of slouched guy wearing a business casual outfit. Mm-hmm. Looks like uh, Margella Gats, pants, a shirt, tie, suspenders, jacket. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. Oh, uh, that's Rocky. ASAP Rocky again. The, the guy, Mort, the photographer, who's famous. <laughs> um, uh, that, that guy... Uh, uh, that guy Jonah Hill, who's famous. <laughs> yep. Um, but and needless to say, what's the prevailing factor? The connection appears to be kind of like a la um, high fashion, doing uh, business looks. Think like Balenciaga yeah. or maybe Tom Brown. It's mm-hmm. also a la uh, preppy streetwear. Think Ami Leon Door. Yep. Um, it, it, and they're calling it yuppie core, and. Uh, I, I mentioned this before we started, Killian. Yes. I, my dead horse as of late is that like two or three years ago, I said, listen, tailoring's coming back. That's what's next. Mm-hmm. People mm-hmm. are going to start dressing the sharp, smart, as the British would say. Right. Um, and that's the next wave. And I'm here like that guy who keeps p- predicting the apocalypse and it's never coming uh, because I keep saying, I, I think this is the time. I think this right. is the year. I think that the, that this post is kind of uh, is uh, reaffirming that idea, or at least asking. And I mean, it's the- with you in beating the dead horse because yeah. they even call it out here that not that I want to give like any credit to the writing, but in this case, I mean, it's like somewhat accurate. They could Men- be inceptioning me at this point. Exactly. This so they might- say menswear's latest evolution is a regression, and it, it's kind of a word soup, but. What they're saying, I think, is like, oh, we had normcore and we had dadcore and looking back to like these eras and the tailoring and the sharpness and stuff. But like it's all it's all the same thing. I think it's all, you know, branches of the same tree. And it's just people like high snobiety trying to find a new word to call it so that they have a new post that they can make. Like, I don't see anything different about this that makes it a trend beyond all the other trends that have already been named for the past like three years killian why are you blowing up their spot that's just media that is media (laughs) wit large right are you kidding me especially fashion news nothing happens in fashion that that what is going to happen that's going to change anything they Mm. just have to invent stuff that is the whole job um and yuppie core first off they're really they're really dismissive uh, because they're like, menswear evolution is pretty sluggish in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> but it's still susceptible to the trends of the day. And so at the crossroads of quiet luxury and normcore, we find the next stage of menswear, the modern yuppie. Finding that you should call it menswear again. Um, <laughs> I, I uh, So like just looking at this picture and the one uh, ASAP was yeah. wearing, I, I I disagree that this is a regression. I don't think that's the right way to think about this. Mm-hmm. I think that that would be as... Uh, wrong as calling like the rise of streetwear in the last few years a regression to the 80s and 90s you know like mm, yeah this isn't a regression because these these silhouettes and styling and like everything about it is totally painted it by our modern sense modern yeah this wouldn't have been what people were wearing during the hashtag menaissance um oh god no can you go to the next one so i can keep my yeah. mic i'm Absolutely. sorry killian it's just like all I'm doing today is complaining, asking you to do things. Uh, I don't. I, this one, I, I I don't feel juicy on. I don't feel Next juicy one. on this either. But so we got Jonah Hill wearing um, slacks. You mm-hmm. can you can see his hill, and he, let's mm-hmm. just say, mm-hmm. ladies, he uh, has mm-hmm. an endowment. Mm-hmm. Um, he's wearing so he's wearing like khakis, uh, yep. a striped shirt, uh, looks like sandals. Um, yep. I, it kind of looks like like a t-shirt hoodie kind of thing, like a beachy t-shirt hoodie. Yeah, or like a thin hoodie. Yeah. Yeah. 
with, and it uh, looks like the the pants are like kind of a uh, cropped capri cropped. type and like yeah. with a raw edge and the jacket is like an aloha oi it's like a <laughs> uh, hawaiian print yeah yeah i mean this outfit does you know really resonate at the the frequency of like nantucket island or something or the, oh, the yeah. hamptons oh yeah so calling this a yuppie look is accurate um what's the next one is that the end of the list no there's two more there they've okay. got one which is a guy and i think this is like a fear of god sweatshirt underneath i think oh it, it looks this looks like an ami leon door look yes a hundred percent and it's kind of out of left field because it's uh quite a few steps more sporty than anything else they've put in this this yeah. photo dump here and uh, i don't disagree with this kind of uh uh, uh assessment mm -hmm. and you know i to get to high snobiety's credit like there are so many people in the industry of fashion who are supposed to like name trends and like say this is what's happening right i've heard it so many times and every time i do i'm like i i totally disagree to you 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 <laughs> treat this like it's like a day job this is my life your that your assessment of what's happening in fashion is boring and old and this isn't this is at least like current and understand like that's true sure. the building box of yuppie core are in menswear's recent adoption of casual tailoring faded indigo jeans and loafers and that is hot right now mm -hmm. it, it, those are kind of like things that people are trying to wear um uh you have a professor fit on your instagram from months ago you were way ahead um, of this What's the name of the guy on uh, the Joe Rogan report? Who pulls the what? everything what? up. The guy who pulls everything up. Oh, Jamie. Jamie, pull up my Instagram. Okay. Got this. Perfect. Sexy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sick, uh, sick guy. Sick guy. That is it. One hundred and eighteen weeks ago. That was not a few months ago. Don't make me sad. <laughs> okay, life is a, a walking shadow. <laughs> Don't worry, a it's a flat player. circle. Um, yeah, that's a that is actually a sick three piece tweed suit that I bought mm. in Minneapolis for okay. like twenty dollars. And what's so cool about this is it might have been made in like the seventies or the eighties. It is bespoke. Mm. This old timer who probably died in this suit yep. has my exact proportions. This suit fits me like a glove, and I look like a I look like an Oxford Harvard professor. Let me tell you that is how rare that is, because usually at the Never thrift happens. store, all of the fire suits are made for people that are like five foot six, but also like eight feet wide. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I would say the same thing. Yeah. Every and I made uh, you know I'm funny. I'm witty. I said something along the lines of, you know, this suit is from the 70s because there is no American man who fits these proportions right. anymore. Exactly. They're all obese. <laughs> um, and every suit at like Goodwill or whatever, it's like it's a 60 chest yep. and a size 40 waist. Yep. 40 waist and a 28 inseam. <laughs> I think I was uh, about to mention the inseam. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, that was a remarkable thing. That's mm -hmm. it. That suit looks sick on me. Um, I think I'm getting a fit off in it. Yeah, a lot because it's like really nice quality and it fits me so well. Mm -hmm. Um, you wanted to bring this up to say that I am the I'm ahead of trends. You made it. Yeah, you're ahead of the, you. You're you're wearing know you know the three piece suit and also these, Long these loafers before. are in the the like you're hitting it. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I'm. What, I'm like a David Bowie type. I'm right, so right, ahead. Right. I'm so ahead. Yeah. 